the thing we need to do, and, and something that we do here at Evergreen Brickworks every Saturday, is we move local food into an urban market. So just setting up the idea of why we appreciate local food. So yes, we save kilometers, we save carbon emissions, but we also get to enjoy fresh, uh, tasty fruit, vegetables in the peak of their season, and when it supports the local agricultural system. So part of the, the problem that we have, like calories, is that we rack up excess amounts of kilometers through these local farmers coming in and out of the city continually. Because what we don't have in our food system is a transportation model, a distribution system that allows them to effectively bring their food in collectively. And so what we want to do is teach them how to reduce those kilometers and have a healthier food system. So when I did a little bit of math, <clears throat> I determined that specifically for this market, Every week, we're going through 30,000 kilometers, which is huge. You can just see the caloric intake of what that's doing to CO2 emissions. And so if we times that by 52 weeks, we've got over a million and a half kilometers that we're racking up. And that adds up to about 318 tons of CO2 emissions. So it's huge. So what can we do in supporting a local farm system and food system that allows us to reduce that caloric intake? Well, my suggestion would be utilizing farmers markets to create centralized food hubs that allow those farmers to come in not three times a week, but once a week. You could have Brickworks be one, you could have Witchwood be another, and you could have Trinity Bellwoods be another. And what you do is you create refrigerated units that sit at those spaces. And so when the farmers are coming in from all their different locations around southern Ontario, they could be bringing in a week's worth of food as opposed to a day's worth of food. And then once they get into the city and they drop off, what we need after that is a small social enterprise, something that's sustainable that could pick up from these little food hubs, something like these bikes that are quite popular or small trucks that don't exude as many emissions that could collectively pick up this food for these farmers and to distribute it to retailers and restaurants and other shops around the city that would help sell those products for those farmers. So then those peaches coming from Niagara going into one pot with maybe some eggplant, some plums, all from different farmers around southern Ontario, now can be collectively distributed by one small person who actually picks them up at these different locations and helps bring them around the city, thus reducing the various number of trips of farmers coming into the city on a regular basis. And so what we end up with is a very low kilometer salad that is healthy and helps sustain the small farmers that are trying to bring their food into the city but don't currently have a way of distribution.